everybody, and welcome to Rugby Wrap-Up. I'm Matt McCarthy, and I have the pleasure of being here with Wayne Morris of the uh, Aviva Premiership Community Board. Is that what it is, That's Wayne? That's right, yep. Yeah. yeah, so we Aviva Premiership Rugby, so we work on the central team there looking after all our community development programs with our 12 clubs. So basically, from what I understand, you're the czar of youth rugby in England. I've been called a few things in my time, but Azar is a new one. But yeah, you know, I think, yeah, we saw. So my job is to work with each of the clubs, share best, best practice amongst those clubs, but also to work with our national partners and organizations, to develop programs and activities that can be driven out through those clubs. And it's interesting that they picked the Welshman. Well, of course, we have a great tradition and history in Wales of playing the game. It's a, it's a community game, so, you know, it's our national sport and, uh, and people from all different backgrounds play within Wales, and it's great to, uh, to transfer that into the English market. All right, so for the folks in the United States that might under, not understand this, and you can tell me if I got this right, but it's basically as if the NFL uh, had a program where they were using youth to feed their respective NFL teams. Yeah, absolutely. For us, you know, we work across four key areas. So grassroots participation is one of those. We also use our sport and our athletes and our brands as ambassadors to try and support educational outcomes, health outcomes, and to tackle social issues as well. You know, our sport's a powerful sport. So the ability to, to, to make social change with it or improve educational outcomes is really important. But, you know, we've got some great ambassadors in there and getting kids involved in our great sport is, uh, is really important. It's like the tentacles of rugby are... are are more far-reaching than Scientology. If you know what yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a big network. You know, it's, um, we've got this great network in England of, uh, of our 12 elite professional clubs, but out of 2,000 grassroots clubs across the country and 200,000 people playing every weekend. So wow. it's, a, it's a great network, and we, we work very closely with that network to pass the experience and the expertise from the Aviva Premiership down into those grassroots clubs. So how many kids and what are the ages? So we're working from young, young people from the age three and four, all the way through to about 17 or 18. and we Three and four? Three and four, yes. Yeah. So we get them playing real early. So they play the flag version of the game, so it's non-contact, and boys and girls can play together. Till what age do they start tackling? Uh, so they move up to under 10s and under 9s and under 10s, where we slowly introduce the contact elements of the game. And we build the game up from a very basic game all the way through to the full 15 aside version from about 12, 13 onwards. Wow. And we, so, we work with about 250,000 young people every year through that program of activity. 250,000 kids in England? In England alone, so just through our 12 professional clubs, about 250,000 people and about 150,000 contact, 150, contact hours every year. You know, whether you want to play very sociably and play in a lower level grassroots club or reasonably competitive through the national leagues or become a full-time professional, there's an opportunity for everybody to take part. That's right. And you're over here to exchange ideas with Mark Griffin from Play Rugby USA, correct? Right. Absolutely, yeah. So as the Aviva Premiership has become the best domestic club competition in the world, it's important for us now that we use that expertise. Don't tell the Kiwis, the South Africans yeah, and the Aussies really, that. Well, we, you know, we've got to brag about it. We've got to go out there. Some of their top guys like to come over and play in our league, so yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's great. But it's... Um, it's a very physical, tough competition, but there's a lot of expertise there. And if we can use that expertise to support other nations that are trying to grow and develop the game, then that's, that's great for the global game of rugby. So and the relationship we have with Mark and the Play Rugby guys has been fantastic this week. Well, that's great stuff. We appreciate your time. We know you're pressed for time. You're actually bolting out of here for a flight. Uh, but I just wanted to compliment you on your looks. If my, if my grandfather, Bonnie McGurk from Ireland, was in Wales, I think we might be related somewhere down the road. Wayne, on behalf of my grandfather and Play Rugby USA, thanks for helping out. Thanks for coming on. That's it. Matt McCarthy for Rugby Wrap-Up. Cheers. Uh, we've got some real young uns taking part now in our threes and fours in our preschool program all the way oh, to... Hold on one sec. We're going to have subtitles for the folks at home that have a little bit of a hard time catching up to the Welshmen. <laughs>